Oh, look how perfect it is. Let's do this out in the mud puddles in the rain. Oh, it's flooding out here. Such a perfect night to do this. It is because the tea posts will be easier to get <laughs> to the ground. Uh, except it'll be knee deep in mud. I have muddy shoes for this purpose. Okay, great day to do it. We need a pick. Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. Today, we're gonna work on a project that I'm very excited about. I wanted to do it when Hannah was home, but we have the time today and it's actually fairly warm. The sun is shining. So I want to start it today while Hannah's at school and hopefully we'll be able to finish it when she gets home. Hannah's chickens live in this side of the chicken coop. The way we have it designed is there is a section dividing this chicken coop right here. So we have Hannah's Sarama chickens, which are the smallest chicken breed, as far as I know. Um, and they live in this side of the chicken coop. And they don't have any way to get outside right now. And that's been okay, because winter is really cold, and they actually really, they really don't tolerate cold weather anyway. But now that it's warming up, we're going to add an automatic chicken door right there. And we're gonna move all this wood pile, and we're going to make a small chicken run four Hannah's chickens right here. So let's get started, Emmett. Okay, wood piles piled up. Right. Now we're going to get to work on the chicken. self-control to not buy any of those molted hudans. Come on guys! Thank you! So I gotta add that in. Stick your wire for our project. Hey Hannah, do you need a knife to open it? Yes, oh, please. let's talk about this door. Okay. This chicken door... Here's how it looks. Here's how it looks. Yeah. It's from runchicken.com. Two years ago, I entered um, a YouTube comment section. They said comment... Um, Wayne Run Chicken Door from the Walker Farm fam. They were doing a giveaway of these chicken doors. And somehow I won. I won the contest or the comment. I don't know. I won the giveaway. It wasn't a contest. I didn't have to do anything. I just literally commented, I want that chicken door or something like that. 
and now uh, it's been working for two years. So the product is amazing. And so I, when I was researching and looking at other automatic doors, they do have them cheaper on Amazon, but I went ahead and went with this run chicken. And it's and for my chickens. Great product, great product. And, and then I splurged chicken. and got this mint color. So I'm really excited. Our other one, if you've seen in our other videos, it's an American flag. And sorry I'm shouting, the heater's on. There's seven kids in this house, it's wild. So, okay, Hannah's gonna open this door and see it, how it looks. And the mint color is like a new, I don't know if it's a limited edition color, but it's a new color and it's really pretty and I'm really excited. And we're gonna, I have some really fun plans for the chicken coop this year. So we're gonna kind of decorate it and do some fun things this year with the chicken. All right, Hannah. And these are for Hannah's Sarama chickens so they can get out and get in the sunlight. She started opening it a little bit like a rodent. <laughs> maybe, maybe our counter's messy because we just got home from school. No, definitely not. <gasps> it's a pretty color. Do you like it? Yeah. Are you so excited for your chickens to get some sunshine? Can I pull that? Um, I think you wait, wait. Okay. You can pull it. Do you need to wait till you install? No. Nope. Oh yeah, you have to cover the light or push the button. Hold the light and open it. Whoa! We love these chicken doors. I love that color. That's so pretty. Let's ask in the comment section what color we should paint our chicken coop. Let's do this. Teal. Let's do this. Well, we want the. You, oh yeah, you guys we voted teal. I don't want that red. No. Okay, you want the chicken coop? We have a vote for red, teal. I like that color. Yeah, that's teal. And I, the other color I'm thinking of is a light brown color. That's not teal, that's mint. That's mint. Mint would look cute with teal though. So teal, red, or light brown. Let us know in the comments what you would rather have. I do like the idea of teal. That's one of my favorite ideas, my favorite option. I don't know if red would look good with mint. Let's ask in the comments. <laughs> we have to wait for tomorrow to continue this video. This is what she does every time. I just get real excited. She says, oh, let's go do it. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's five. It's five. Okay. Five. It's 518, almost six o'clock. Look at, she won't let me through so I can show you what's going on <laughs> out here. Look at this. She's like, oh, it's a perfect night. It is! Let's see how perfect it is out here. How do I flip you? You have to stop. Oh, look how perfect it is. Let's do this out in the mud puddles in the rain. Oh, it's flooding out here. Such a perfect night to do this. It is because the tea post will be easier to get <laughs> the ground. <laughs> uh, except it'll be knee deep in mud. I have muddy shoes for this purpose. Okay, great day to do it. We need to put... Well, we made a compromise. <laughs> We are not building the chicken coop tomorrow, I mean today, but we will build it tomorrow. And we are putting up the turf in the dog kennel so our dogs can quit being so muddy out here in our muddy marshland. This is what happens to our yard when we get a lot of rain. It's very bad. I'm wondering if we should move it, if we could straighten the dog kennel out a little. I probably should have scooped the poop before we did this. <laughs> I think this is a two-person job, isn't it? Yeah. Sax, hold the camera! <laughs> Why doesn't she ever trust me? Right here or all the way back here? 
wherever you want. Right here. That way cats can still use it as a copy. This cat's gonna pee on poop on it right now. It, oh, he's like, I'm dry. <laughs> I'm dry. Socks. Socks are roni. Katie. <laughs> I'm filming you. <laughs> Give it to me, I'll do something cool. Throw it and I'll take it like a spear. <laughs> For a second, please. Go to the back then. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Then you want to get out there. Oh, I don't know what it's about right now. Okay. Sucks. <laughs> You're going to enjoy it for now. That's really good. You can put a little walk of mat right there and they can rub their little paws on it. Okay. And it looks like I might need to get one for the cats. <laughs> Pumpkin is camera shy right now. The cats are really enjoying it though. All right, Socks, you have it for tonight. It'll be marshmallow and Tito's in the morning. It's Let me see. Your stuff, yep, so exciting. And I don't know what this people are. Oh, let's put it over it's here. Open. It's okay, we're gonna put it over here on this side. That's where the door's gonna go. You sure your eyes aren't blurry wearing those? Okay. Board first. I agree. Need something? It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Excuse me, Emmett. Oh, good. Right there is good. I'm gonna do that from the inside. Oh, better make sure there's no chickens in there. Oh, I'll go.
Yeah, I think that is best. So this was 21 tons? How many can you buy? Uh, as many as you want. <laughs> Is this just what they recommended? Look, stay right here. Look how cool they look. I like them. They're pretty. Emmett, come back here. <laughs> You like it? It fixes our problems. What? It fixes our problems. Like a, I think a light brown would look nice. Like almost like this color brown. Or we could have it yellow to match the house. Like a light yellow. In a minute, we're gonna make them the coop right now. Ryan says he can get out of here. I'm not doing it while she's filming me. Squeeze through the chicken door. <laughs> yeah, squeeze through that chicken door, Ryan. I can. Can I see me? Yep. Please don't break it. Don't break it. Oh my gosh, they're gonna peck your eye. <laughs> <laughs> my head barely fits. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't just bottom, broken my ankle. Bottom, bottom, bottom. I couldn't get up. <laughs> what is wrong with you? 
I'm so angry with you right now. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? Let's see it. Sergeant Humes. <laughs> Which one are you going to throw out first? I don't know. Throw them out and call their name when you throw them out. Do we want to put the roof on first? We just want to see them. What happened to my... I can just see your feet going back and forth. <laughs> Mama, Mama Sarama, <laughs> what do you think? I'm the sunshine, Daddy Sarama. Noel. Noelle's not going out. <laughs> She's like, no. Ooh, it's fun out there. Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> Mimi? Yeah. You left Haley's chicken there? Oh, can you grab that apple I so it doesn't leave her chicken there? so it doesn't rot? Can you grab that apple? You'll have to go in. Someone kicked it down. It was Noel. Ooh, Black Panther is so cool. That is the prettiest rooster. That black one. They're like, ugh, it's muddy. They don't want to put their feet down. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, Hannah, you can fit through there. I would go, I would turn around and put your feet first. Or not. <laughs> Okay. Strong enough to stabilize? Nice. Yeah. There's our solution for no door. Like this, okay? Put it again. Push That's it. so cool. We got a new one. Right here. Yep. There you go. <laughs> They're so happy. What? <laughs> they look so cute out and about. They're so happy. Can I shut this one? No, just leave it open so they can go in and out if they want. Pass them out. And names change often. <laughs> I like the names you picked just now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep his name. Black Panther and Junior. That's way easy to remember. Emma, no, put your legs first. Boots first. Oh. Keep coming. <laughs> don't don't put your hand right there. What? I'm videoing. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool tool. You like it? It's way easier than the other one. Didn't like the price, but. <laughs> See, in my mind, I thought we were just attaching it right there. That makes sense how you're attaching it. That's wonderful. I can make any chicken Oh, wow. I'm the chicken You do have a talent. Come over here so I can see you clearly. Because I don't want you to go in. Yeah, that's the pretty mean one too. Yeah, she's really mean. Don't let it peck your eye. He's got sharp paws. What's your favorite one over there, Pilac Panther? Bring it over here. Show me a close-up. No, mine. No, this one's mine. 
Technically, they're all Hannah's. She shares with you guys, though. No, I'm not in the mood to sit today. That was just a soft. Do you need a stapler now? Yeah. Can I staple it? <laughs> Here you go. I just kicked a chicken. I'm a chicken kicker. <laughs> it's not looser? No. Oh, I thought it was looser the way it looked. It's not gonna work. Oh, it pulled out. Those are they all? Why not super long ones? Because I don't want them to go that far in. There you go. Here you go. It's gonna work, guys. It's gonna work. Ready? Yeah, actually. Ryan got sliced on the chicken wire. It's like a little chicken table. Oh, you need hand in there to lift that. Huh. I like that painting. Reach for the screens. Because <laughs> the battery's dead. No! You want me to go get another battery? Want me to go get the other battery? Yeah, probably. Okay, can I set those there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! It's gonna work. Now, how are you gonna staple that? The lawsuit against them. Nah. Payday, baby. <laughs> Hey, that actually stretched it out nicely. It's not perfect, but it's good. I like your husband. <laughs> now they have outside room to roam. Last thing we're gonna do is um, pin these down with some stakes. Want to do one of those, Hannah? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. It's yeah. your project. <laughs> this is your 4-H project. Not mine. Nope. Just 
minute. We don't want to bend it. Okay, everyone. Don't forget to leave in the comments what color we should paint this chicken coop. Here. Really, really needs to be painted this year. The other side is our American flag. Our American flag chicken run door. Let's go say hi to Cocoa Puff while we're out here. Hi, Cocoa Puff. Is that tasty new grass because it's springtime? I love it because, um, except the only reason that I wouldn't love it is because um, I couldn't go in there to close it, but my mom told me that it closes by the sun. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. That is what no, no what color what the barn should be. Bye. Our preschool because the preschool plan I created this year is we're learning about bugs every month next month is gonna be praying mantis and I found an Uthika and I'm really hoping that it will produce baby mantis but I just couldn't put this huge log in my house and also I don't want them hatching till next month and it has been nice and cold weather, so it hasn't hatched yet. So Ryan's going to help me gently cut this log down so that I can put this little chunk in my fridge until April so that it stays at a constant temperature. And then we'll pull it out on April 1st and we'll start watching it in, in the warm house. And when they hatch, then we'll release them outside in the garden. Put it in this quail hutch to keep it safe. And here's the quail! Mom, why are the quail? The quail are in a separate um, enclosure for now that gets less wind. And cold. You just see my new Okay, let's go try and jump oh, yeah. just... One is mine. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a moistened paper towel in with the Uthika in my fridge to keep it wintry conditions. Humidity is really important for Uthikas to hatch. Just a little bit. What? Holy crap, Hannah. That your reactions to things need to chill a little. But I thought it was going to scrape it off and die. It scared me. I actually don't know why I like that. Just a little, it doesn't need to be that wet in there. It just needs to be a little bit humid. And we're going to check on it to make sure no mold is growing because we don't, that is what we want to avoid. 
But I'm gonna put it in like that. And I'm gonna also put it in this because Ryan uh, said he's a little worried that it will hatch in the fridge. <laughs> he says, he's told me it won't hatch before and things hatch sometimes. So just for some, cause there's holes on the top of this. Added measure, cause it's going in our fridge where our food is. It doesn't need air right now. I don't think so. It definitely does. <laughs> I'll let it get air every you night. Don't have to put it in a bag. Well, you said you were worried about well, it hatching in our fridge. In the fridge. How you guys? How was the day, guys? All right, we're not gonna put it in that then. I think it will have enough air in that. Because when I've got them before, it's like literally a sealed container. We'll air it out every night till it's time. <laughs>